This is Price Boss. In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to scrape lots and lots of, of ads on Landwatch and turn them into usable comps to develop very accurate pricing. It's so simple, there's only three steps involved. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to filter your leads in Landwatch, then you're going to copy them over to the Price Boss, and then you're just going to hit the compute button, and voila, you're going to see lots and lots of useful data. So let's take a look. All right, so here is the Land Watch tab on Price Boss. But first we're gonna go over to, actually I'm gonna get out of it so that we can do a fresh screen. So let's go to Land Watch. And what I like to do is go to this advanced search, it makes it really easy. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to Washington State. In the county we're gonna to go to, we'll go to Click Attack. And I'm going to put uh, a price range of zero, zero to 50,000 and make sure my property type is set to land. And now I'm going to view my properties. And I've got exactly the ones that I want. Now, when I scrape these properties and bring them over into Price Boss, I like to get them in a certain order. And what I really like to do is go just listed. That way, I'm not getting all the cheap ones, or I'm not getting all the expensive ones, or I'm not getting all the ones where people spent extra money to get their ads to the top of the list. I'm just getting the most recent ones which is exactly how I want it. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to scrape this information in the center, and it's really simple. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my cursor right above the white bar here, and I'm gonna press down and hold my left button on my mouse, and I'm just gonna scroll down, and I'm gonna come up here just where it so it highlights the saved property, but it doesn't highlight the numbers or anything underneath it. That's it. Now, if I right click, I can just hit um, copy. And I'm going to go over to the price boss, come over to this yellow bar, and don't worry about that little pop up. And I am just going to paste it. Now, there, was some, there were some additional pages here, so I'm just going to come to the bottom here, select it. And now I'm going to go to the next page because I want to get all of these ads. And I'm going to do the same thing. Again, I'm going to put my cursor just above the box, holding down on my left button, scroll down, make sure that save property is highlighted, copy, and paste. We're just going to do it a couple more because I want to get all of the all of the ads. Right at the top, hold down the mouse button, scroll down. I'm going to copy, paste, and I've just got one more. So let's just do one more and scrolling down. I'm going to copy and paste. Let me go all the way back to the top of my spreadsheet, Enterprise Boss, and I'm going to hit this blue button that says Compute to give us our comps. It's voila, it's done for you. It breaks all the ads apart. It tells you that the source of the ad is Landwatch. The type of the ad is for sale. Across all of Price Boss, there's two different types. There's for sale data or sold data. If it's sold, it's an actual comp. If it's for sale, that means we might want to make an adjustment because when it does sell, it may sell it at this point. So you want to indicate that. We've got all the prices over here in column F, and we've got the acreage in column H. Now you'll notice that some of these descriptions over in column K um, are highlighted in green, please ignore my dog. And the reason for that is because if in this write-up anywhere it has the word subdivision, it's going to highlight this in green so that you can see it. And I can see this is in the hood view of states. And if I, if I actually go in and look at, down at all of these, including this white one here, uh, it says hood view estates, but it doesn't have the word subdivision. They're all hood view estates. So I'm just going to highlight hood view estates. And I'm going to put it over here in my subdivision column. And I'm just going to bring it all the way down. And boom, now I've already identified the subdivision for all of these properties. 
When I get into the further analysis, that's going to be very useful. If you can't figure out what the subdivision is or you're not sure, you could just use the city. So you can just copy these and bring it into the subdivision. You can, you can do the same down here. So I'm just going to come down and select all of these as the cities. And there you have it. And it shows you right up here that you've got 54 comps that have both price and acreage with the size of the property, which is what you need in order to be able to figure out price per acre so we can get some very accurate price for you. But that's all there is to it. I just went to Landwatch. I did a, a filtered search for the property that I wanted. Once I had it, I copied the properties from Landwatch. I pasted them over here into my column A. And I hit this button. And the rest was done for me. And now all I had to do was figure out my subdivisions. And I'm ready to go. Good luck to you. <laughs>